Okay. Let's. They're just reminding us to use and, and I'm reminding you to make sure you've watched the tutorial for this section if you haven't already. So they're telling us we need to do some waiting. Um, and we don't need the, f guess we're not using the function this time, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna use our until, until, um, tiger sleeping and bear sleeping and then here and we want to be careful with our spacing because if we're off even by one space it won't work so when your cursors are not on those lines you should see all those dots um, and if you don't, that means something's off. And then if B is frozen, and then, and then we need to wait again. So let's see, if B is frozen, go, go to B, go to hit B. Oh yeah. So that's gonna get the goat going. That spacing doesn't seem right to me. Because we still need the monkey to wait until the tiger is sleeping and the bear is sleeping. Wait. I think they're trying to show us that why functions are so useful because I really wish I had the function. Um, now, down here, so everything's in the for loop. We're going to wait before we run the if conditional. Um, and that's going to take care of the goat hitting. Um, if the goat doesn't need to hit, they still want to be careful because the, they wake up. Then we're going to need to go to B. Um, and so we have our for B and bananas go to B. And those need to be lined up together, which you can see they are. Um, the other ones are other things happening inside there. And I think this is our spacing, which is kind of iffy, but we'll see. There we go. So yeah, 